Autism spectrum disorder is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects 3.5 million Americans, and it's likely that 1% of the entire world's population has some form of autism. Now, many people with autism can live, by anyone's standards, long, healthy, normal lives. However, many also have to deal with uh, neurological symptoms, such as learning disabilities, difficulty socializing, and uh, anxiety and depression, depression, just to name a few. Now, one of the most difficult parts about treating autism is that it's very hard to detect. Diagnosing autism can be difficult uh, because the symptoms generally don't show up until uh, you get a little bit older. If the symptoms are severe enough, you might be able to detect it in a person of one to three years of age. However, many people go into adolescence before getting properly diagnosed, thus delaying the treatment and making it less effective. This is where my research comes in. My research focuses on how calcium channels affect the way our brains develop. Now this ties directly with autism because there exists a specific form of autism known as Timothy syndrome. This is a particularly severe form of autism that not only causes the neurological symptoms but also heart defects as well. In 100% of the people with Timothy syndrome, there exists a very specific calcium channel mutation across a very specific set of calcium channels. What we've done is confirm in these worms known as C. elegans, which are pictured behind me, that when uh, the same set of calcium channels is mutated in the exact same way, there's a uh, disorganization of the neural network. Now normally when neurons develop, they extend an axon which stops at a particular place and forms a connection with its target, therefore making our neural networks. However, in these mutant worms, the neurons still extend their axon, but now the axon doesn't know where it's supposed to stop. So it forms incomplete connections or outright misses its target. So we, of course, investigated this a little further, found out more about the mechanisms, and identified new gene mutations uh, that are uh, associated with this mechanism. But what does this all mean? Well, there's two major outcomes that I want you guys to remember from this research. Number one is that by understanding these mechanisms on how our neurons develop, we can develop new treatments for not only neurodevelopmental disorders like autism, but also schizophrenia and late onset disorders uh, like Alzheimer's disease. But specifically for autism, and this is outcome number two, by understanding which gene mutations make people susceptible for developing autism, we can identify immediately by sequencing their DNA whether or not they may uh, develop autism, thereby starting the treatment earlier and making it more effective. Because remember, with autism, the earlier you start the treatment, the better the outcome. And that's how this research can truly change lives. Thank you.